What's up you guys, my name is Patrick and thanks for checking back in at my channel. Today I'm going to share with you guys what's in my white coat. Alright you guys, I can't wait to show you what's in my white coat, but before we get started, I just want to say a special thank you to Uniform Advantage for sending me these amazing scrubs, you guys. These are the Butter Soft Scrubs um, in wine. Look at the color, look at the color. It's really nice, right? Um, I can't wait to wear these on my clinical rotations, you guys. Uh, so go check them out. If you guys use my code right below, use this code right here, you guys will get 20% off. So go right now. So in my previous video, you guys probably saw that I recently went to my white coat ceremony and I got my white coat. And so that means I am ready to go on clinical rotations. And so I wanna show you guys what's in my white coat because so far um, I am on my surgical rotation and we actually have to carry a lot in our pockets and my jacket's actually heavier than I thought. So this is my white coat, you guys. Um, I got the school logo over here, Stony Brook Medicine. And I got my name over here, Patrick Wynn, P-A-S. Um, the fit is really nice. Um, so on this jacket, I actually have three pockets. I have one on my upper left breast area for like pens and stuff. And then I had two uh, down by my waist. The first thing in my white coat is my stethoscope, you guys. This is basically an essential for every healthcare worker. Um, I usually have it around my neck, but like sometimes when I'm like leaning over the patient's bed, to do a physical exam or something. I don't want to have around my neck, so I'll put it in my white coat, actually. The next thing in my white coat is my notepads, you guys. I actually have two. I have a brown one, and then I have a white one. So this brown one is actually for like medical lesson notes. And so basically, whatever my preceptor is trying to teach me that day. So like, for example, in here I have like diabetes. I have when to do breast exams. I have different types of dementia. I have arthritis. I have when to give vaccines. So yeah, everything that my preceptor is trying to teach me, I'll write it into this brown one. This white notepad is actually for my own notes. And so whenever I'm studying something, I'll write it in here so I don't forget. Or if I have a special patient with a special case, I'll write it in here because, um, you know, it's, it's very rare that you see this patient ever again. And so I wanna keep it in here so I can remember it. So for example, I was studying surgical wounds and so I just have like the different classes in here. I also have the ASA classes in here. Next up is gonna be, um, I have this quick medical reference guide from the AAPA. Um, you guys can actually get this for free if you guys sign up to be a member. I believe you can sign up as a student and so that's what I did. I signed up as a student and they sent me this in the mail and so it's actually really useful because they have like the eye exam chart back here. They also have like normal lab values. Um, stroke scale, um, helpful equations, um, pre-op and post-op stuff. And so it's a nice quick reference to have in your white coat. What else do I have in here? All right, I also have, okay, so this one is actually a sample because I don't wanna, because I don't wanna break HIPAA now, release any like patient information. But what I usually do is I have a folded piece of computer paper. I fold it into four quadrants like this, and then each quadrant will be a patient that I'm seeing. So in each quadrant will be a patient's name, the room number, the sex, the vital signs, and I'll just write like my findings, basically like a, a, a very quick soap note, uh, my findings, what I wanna do, my treatment plan. And then at the end of the day, my school actually makes us uh, log in all of our patients. And so I'll refer back to this to make sure that I log all my patients for the day. Next up, I have a roll of surgical tape. Um, Honestly, at the end of my shift, I'll have like random stuff in my pockets like surgical tape, band-aids, um, sterile strips, I'll have um, abdominal pads, like I just have random stuff in my pockets. So this is what I found today, surgical tape. Another pen because you can never have enough pens. Um, I'm always losing my pens because either a patient needs to use one, uh, my preceptor needs to use one, and so I'll just end up having like five pens just in case. <laughs> Moving on to this upper pocket, I actually keep my, my favorite pen in here. And it is this uh, four colored pen, you guys. This pen is amazing. Um, it has blue, green, black, red, and it has a stylus. And so um, I love this pen because I actually use a different color for like the level of severity or its importance. Red is like very important. Blue is just like for me to take notes. Green is like, oh, you're done with this. You're good to go. And black is just for like a quick jot, a quick note um, about something. And also in this upper pocket, I have a protein bar because I am literally always snacking on something. 
Um, I rarely have time to sit down for an actual lunch or something. And so I usually have like a granola bar or a cereal bar just uh, in case if I am on the run. Specifically, I really like this protein bar right here because I'm actually trying to go to the gym, you guys. Um, with everything going on with school and everything, I want to have a healthy lifestyle. And so um, after work, I'll go to the gym, I'll exercise. To share with you guys, I'm actually trying to put on some body mass because I've always been the skinny guy. And so I'm trying to bulk up a bit, you know? And so protein bar, protein bar. All right, you guys, that is everything in my white coat. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button for me. And as always, make sure to go out there and be a winner.